Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for December 20th, 2019. So it's Friday, everyone. We made it through the week, and what a what a wonderful week this has been for the market. Um, I was looking at KMX here this morning. They've missed on earnings this morning. Let's take a look at the overall market. As you can see, we have just been, we have maintained such a beautiful uptrend um, these last few days, just moving up nicely in the market. And there seems to be no um, willingness to stop here. The bears don't seem to have any energy at all to attack uh, to the downside. So let's take a look at this. We're seeing a very, very bullish market, a very, very bullish trend. We have supports being held in this chart and new record highs made yesterday. So we completely ignored the presidential um, impeachment and just powered right on through to new record highs yesterday. Um, now, as we head into the weekend, one of the things you always want to consider as we head into the weekend, um, these nice profits that we have, and remember, we have kind of a strange week next week with a holiday being right in the middle of the week. We'll have Monday, a partial day on Tuesday, and then the market closed. And you can expect Thursday and Friday to be likely very light volume, choppy price action. I'm not trying to predict that. It's just pretty common. That's what happens over um, holiday periods like that. So it could be pretty interesting um, trading next week so you might want to think about if you've got some of those nice profits and I know this is what I'm going to be doing I'm going to be thinking about taking some of those profits today and go into the bank so I don't have to worry about it reducing my risk to a weekend as we know anything can happen over a weekend and it's just a wise thing to uh, think about taking those profits, at least part of the profits. And depending on how bullish you feel here, there's nothing wrong with holding some of those stocks into the weekend, but just consider the risk of doing that very, very carefully so that you have a plan to protect yourself. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY. Again, beautiful trend. I mean, you just can't. You just can't complain about this. Beautiful trend. Um, nice strong moves in the market. Holding levels of little support in the chart and moving on through to hit new record highs. Once again, we have to keep in mind the possibility that there could be a little bit of profit taking, maybe heading into the weekend, possibility of a little pullback. And then again, we might find the inspiration in the economic data today to just continue pushing on higher. We'll have to wait and see, but watch that pretty closely as we go into the day. Well, one thing I will point out here that is a bit of a concern and that is that we're really separating pretty far from our 50-day moving average, which gives me that little bit of concern that we may be running just a little bit too hot here. And eventually we will get some kind of a pullback. We all know that, that a pullback will come. But who knows, This is it's possible this trend, this bullishness, there's no reason to believe it couldn't last right in uh, through the, the new year. So, um, you know, make your trading decisions very carefully. Be careful not chasing too many stocks that are at all time highs and breaking through all time highs, just in case we do get that market pullback. Let's take a look at the queues. Queues also setting new record highs. So um, Dow, S&P 500, QQQ setting new record highs here ahead of the holiday. What an amazing run we've had. Beautiful uptrend. No fear in this market um, at this point. And we're holding, we've got good support levels in here. So if we do pull back, if we do slide more into consolidation, boy, I think we have some really good levels in here. Unless we get some kind of very shocking news that shifts us the other way. There is reason to be very, very bullish about the, the technicals of these charts right now. Let's take a look at IW. IWM. IWM also bullish, 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 breaking through. And I'm going to uh, use a different drawing here. And if you take a look um, right in here, we have 
that resistance. And yesterday we poked right on through there. So I'm looking at maybe um, coming up into the next resistance level of this chart. And you can see we've popped up in here that possibility that we could move on higher here. Keep in mind once again though that this is a pretty substantial rally. Anytime profit takers could come into play, any news event that could shift it uh, to the downside. So stay on your toes, focus on that price action. But right now, what a wonderful thing it is to have IWM participating with the rest of the market and uh, possibly pushing up, maybe doing some catch up here um, and uh, maybe coming up here to test some of these highs. That would be a, a nice thing to see and um, having it just pitch in with the rest of the market is very, very nice to see. Let's take a look at the VIX. Interesting here in the VIX that we're just not showing much fear. We had a little bit of a creep up here a couple of days, and yesterday we tried to creep up a little tiny bit, but really nothing in here to be majorly concerned about. And I think if anything, we could set a relatively tight range um, in this chart where we're bouncing around in this area. Seems to be no fear in the market. The bears seem to have no teeth or willingness to fight back. And um, that allows this market to continue to, well, melt higher, just continue to, to push uh, those upper limits. So um, no fear, at least at the moment. But of course, we always want to keep our eyes on this. And, and those big economic reports today could be one of those things that surprises us and brings in a little bit of fear. Let's take a look at T2122. That four week new high, new low ratio. And you can see we're still in a in pretty good shape here. We haven't reached these upper limits yet. So what T2122 does so very, very well is it tells us when we've reached overbought or oversold conditions in the market. And what's interesting is even with all the buying and the, the strong trend that we have, notice that we still have upside potential in um, T2122. Now we can fail right in this area, as you can see, but we can also move straight on up and fail at that upper level. So we have some room here yet to move higher if we can find the inspiration to do that in the market. But also what T2122 does, it doesn't give us direction, but it does tell us that we also have a substantial downside move potential in the market. So we want to just stay on our toes and be very focused on this. Not not get too overlong, um, but I certainly wouldn't want to be um, trying to fight this market short just yet. There's no clues here yet of um, any kind of substantial pullback overall. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And this is where things are going to get kind of interesting this morning. Um, at 8.30 a.m. this morning, we're going to get the GDP number. Now, consensus says that that number is going to come in and remain very strong. So unless there's a surprise here, um, GDP continues to look pretty good. We'll have to wait and, and see the actual number. Then we have personal incomes and outlays at 10 a.m. That can certainly move the market around as well. Um, and, and according to consensus, that's supposed to be right in line. So uh, again, it would have to be a surprise to maybe shake up the market here just a little bit and uh, maybe rally some bears. And then consumer sentiment is also at 10 a.m. And again, consumer sentiment um, estimates are that we're going to be right in those upper reaches where we've been. No major changes there. Consumers appear to be pretty happy and pretty strong. So it'd be a surprise number. Um, but that's that's the extent of really the market moves today uh, will be reflected on that. So we might see a little bit of move up or down. And then don't be too surprised if we kind of slide into a consolidation. Just light and choppy price action as folks start making those holiday plans and maybe even heading out early for their holiday plans with with. Um, um, the holidays be in the in midweek. Um, I could see a lot of folks jumping on those airplanes and getting in cars, heading out to see their family and just extending their holiday um, 
through the week. So um, we'll want to watch the price action closely, but right now nothing in here that suggests bearishness now on the earnings front we do have a few count um, things and i already showed kmx kmx reported this morning and missed pretty ugly um uh, gapping down substantially here this morning we've got uh blackberry reporting this morning they're gapping up don't expect that to move the market much at all um ccl carnival corp um maybe they haven't reported yet um but they're expected to report and like wgo um reporting today looks like they're gapping up um on winnebago so that's about the size of it there's not much going on here today to really move the market around in the economic calendar so or earnings calendar so we will be relying mostly on um, that economic calendar to try and find some inspiration so with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day of trading, a great Friday. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could do me a favor, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon to make sure you're notified every time I post one of these videos. You know, the purpose of these videos is not to predict. It's not to be, provide a whole bunch of hype. It's to look at the technicals of the chart, look at the trends, look at our indicators, take a look at a... Um, um, and what's actually going on in the market, those potential news events, and trying to determine how we want to approach the market for today. And if you find this helpful, um, could you please do me a favor and click that thumbs up button and also leave a brief comment. You know, all over the internet, there's tons and tons uh, of, uh, of information, but often those uh, which you see um, does an awful lot of predicting or there's a lot of hype or something in it. I wanted to pro provide a very straightforward and the things that I do as a trader, I do this every single day. Whether I was producing this video or not, I do this every single day and I've done this for the last 15 years. And in doing that, um, I have been able to build a great career um, in the uh, trading full time. So if you find these helpful, please make sure and um, support the channel. Click that thumbs up button. Leave a brief comment. It helps us grow. And by the way, everyone, please feel free to share these videos on Facebook, Twitter, wherever you want. They're open to everyone. And thank you so much for everyone who does do that. Let's take a look at some stocks that are setting up and please keep in mind that any of the stocks that I show in these videos are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. They are meant um, as part of the education of what I do and if you find something in here please make sure you do a thorough evaluation and decide whether or not this stock fits you personally and your trading objectives. So let's take a look at a few stocks and a few that I've shown before but still have some interest to me and things I want to pay attention to here. Take a look at Procter & Gamble. Now Procter & Gamble had this ugly, ugly push down here on Wednesday, but notice Thursday brought that right back and we're pressing against this resistance level in this chart. If uh, Procter & Gamble can find just enough inspiration or love to pop on through there, this would be blue sky highs and new opportunities um, up above here and a big breakout. So keep an eye on that. Procter & Gamble still potentially setting up in uh, that chart. We'll want to watch that pretty closely. As you know, I've kind of been keeping an eye on Monster, and Monster doing this beautiful job moving higher here. Just moving on up, there was a price alert there in the chart. We popped up and pulled back. Now we moved on higher on Friday. Let's keep an eye on this. This trend's looking pretty good. It is entirely possible this could rest a little bit in here, but Monster's showing quite a little bit of strength. Please keep in mind that there is resistance over here above that we'll want to respect in that chart but right now monster looking very very good take a look at bx everyone this is one that you guys know that i've been talking about i've brought up a couple of times bx in this beautiful little trend here breaking through right in this area nice pop out yesterday a lot of folks in rwo made some great money on this and are still holding this for this morning what a beautiful move in that chart looking very very strong and if 
if we take this back and, and take a look, you can see we've got blue sky above here. So anything is possible in this chart, but a beautiful upside move, something to pay attention to. Um, you guys also know that I've been keeping an eye on CGC. Now CGC struggle, struggling here, and this is a rounded bottom breakout pattern. Rounded bottom breakout pattern is after a stock has been in is a substantial downtrend and it starts to turn back around. And notice that 50 day moving average is just ever so slightly starting to flatten out and if it can start to turn back up, that's what we want to see. And we can see our shorter term moving averages moving up through that 50 day moving average. And yesterday we did end up pulling um, some support right off of that 50 day moving average. We do have, I'm going to go to a, a naked chart here. This is what I do most of my trading from. And you can see here we did catch price support as well, as well as that 50 day moving average. So if we can hold in here, there is an opportunity possibly setting up in this trade. And, I, and as of right now, I have a price alert right here on the chart. I could, depending on how this develops, I could move that down price alert right down in here to see if I can catch a little bit earlier entry into that trade if the, the bulls start to perk up here in CGC. I will wait for it though. I'm, I'm in no rush to jump into that trade just yet. I want a little bit more proof. I want to see those buyers really stepping up and supporting that chart. Let's take a look at um, THO. THO was something I mentioned here um, uh, last week, I think, and THO uh, breaking this really nice little consolidating move, popping up through, following through to the upside. Now, what I would um, recommend everyone, you know, pay attention to is we've broken through this resistance here in the chart. Breaking through that resistance is a pretty big deal. So any rest consolidation or pullback in here that holds onto this trend sets up a nice opportunity. When you break out of a major resistance area like that, a full year's worth of resistance, that sets up that opportunity for a nice move up. So keep THO in mind, might be just what you're looking for in a chart. Um, another chart would be Signet, Signet Jewelers. Beautiful, beautiful little pop up here. And I mentioned this several times before. Um, on this pullback, I, I suggested we keep a close eye on this because it may pop up. It did pop up. Now, one thing I, um, I also mentioned is that we're a little bit far away from our trend here. So don't be too surprised, although that we've popped back up, that we may need a little bit more rest or consolidation in here before this actually moves on higher. But keep Signet on your list. There may be some opportunity there. How about Microsoft? My goodness, Microsoft, what a beautiful move Microsoft made yesterday, pushing up higher, looking very, very strong. Microsoft has had just a tremendous run, a trend that just doesn't want to end. Uh, beautiful chart. Microsoft looking very good yesterday and setting up for a possible move on higher. So keep an eye on that one. How about Apple? Apple, another chart that is setting up, kind of resting in here in a little consolidation. Microsoft moved beautifully out of this little alert area, popping on through. Now, any kind of, uh, any, any of this rest or consolidation here sets up that opportunity for an upside in that chart. Keep an eye on Apple, still looking very good, one you wanna pay attention to. So with that, everyone, I want to take a minute here. If you are traveling, if you're heading out early um, to visit family and friends for the holiday, I want to wish you safe travels and want to wish you a very Merry Christmas. You know, there are a lot of folks out there in um, that don't have it as good as we do. And um, it is we have to feel so blessed um, in the work that we do and the things that we have, um, how, how wonderful that it is. So remember those folks uh, during the Christmas holiday and also remember those folks that uh, stand in defense 
of this nation, those first responders, firefighters, police officers, and then of course our military that is out there working during the holiday. Please always remember those folks. Think about them as they continue to protect us while we celebrate our holidays. If you're taking off, have safe travels. I wish you all the best and I will see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. Everyone take care. Have a great weekend. We'll talk to you all soon.